How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to unlock the bootloader on your Pixel device. Okay, so a couple things to point out when you do a uh, bootloader unlock, um, it is going to wipe data factory reset your device. So it's very important that if you need to back up anything on it, make sure you've done that. Okay, it's also important that you have the Android SDK installed or the ADV and Fastboot files set up correctly on your computer. And if you haven't done that, you can go reference the video up in the second section on how to install the Android SDK. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings and we're going to go in here and we need to turn on um, developer options. So the way you do that is you tap on your build number until it says you are now a developer. And you should see, and it's been a while since I've done this, so let's just see. Might be in here. Yeah, developer options. And then you have it turned on, and you want to make sure that OE allow bootloader unlock is checked on, right? Not So please restart the device. We actually want it this way, enable OEM unlock, okay? And then while you're in here, obviously you want to make sure you have USB debugging enabled. You might as well if you're in this state. So that's it. That is all of the prep you need to do to do the unlock on your device is basically turn on developer options, OEM unlock, USB debugging. All right, let's go over to my computer and let's unlock the bootloader on this Pixel device. All right, to do this um, bootloader unlock, it's actually really, really simple. So all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug in my uh, device here to my computer. There we go, connect it up. And you may get this instantly, or you may have to turn on ADB, but we're gonna go ahead and allow ADB debugging. So that pop-up for me came up instantly. Um, you may have to open up a command window like I'm about to do here and type in ADB devices to get that prompt to come up, but just make sure you go ahead and allow that um, on there. So from here, it's really easy. We're gonna go to ADB reboot bootloader, okay, and hit enter. And you're going to see the device over here is going to um, boot into uh, bootloader mode, which it is. So then from here, we're just going to test to make sure the fast boot is working. So fast boot devices. Okay. And you can see that it came back with the fast boot. So from here, you actually have two different commands. And it basically depends on how old your device is. Pixels are pretty much going to all use this command, which is going to be fast boot flashing unlock okay so I'm going to send this command and you're going to see on the device here that it's asking you to unlock the bootloader and giving you some warnings so make sure you read those and then I'm just going to use the volume to select yes and then hit power and that should go ahead and yeah there you go took a little bit unlock the bootloader now from here, it, it, you're, you're pretty much done. We're back in bootloader, so you can just do fast boot devices if you want to make sure it's communicating, which it is, and then fast boot reboot, and that is it. Your bootloader is unlocked. You do see this is the warning you will get on boot up now from now on because the bootloader is unlocked on this device, and that really is the process. Right, you've unlocked the bootloader on the Pixel. This is going to wipe data factory reset it, so be aware of that. Um, because the bootloader is unlocked, you no longer have FRP. So FRP is not a thing when you have an unlocked bootloader because you could easily just go into Fastboot and type in Fastboot Erase FRP and it'll erase it. So um, basically FRP is uh, gone. It's not a, a locking feature on a device with an unlocked bootloader. So we're going to let this thing boot up. It is officially unlocked. You will have to reset it up like a brand new device. But you'll be able to flash cool things like Torp Recovery, Root Your Device, and Custom ROMs. So, that being said, we're going to get to those videos next. But I'm going to let this thing boot up just to show you. And you do have officially an unlocked bootloader. The other thing we can check, and actually we may do that. We'll do that once it boots up. I'll show you one more thing we can do. So, just because I'm getting impatient with this thing booting up, it's going to take a while and I'm impatient. I'm going to hold down volume down and power. And we're going to force this thing back into bootloader mode. Um, I, I could wait for it to boot up, but I just don't feel like it. So um, this is a way to force reboot pretty much any device. So I'm just going to do it. Go ahead and do this. So there we go. Should go. Come on. Okay, here we go. So we're, we're in bootloader. So what I wanted to show you in here is just how to check if you have an unlocked bootloader, right? So 
fast boot get var all okay so this gets all of the variables um, for your device and you can check in here for your bootloader device you're in fast boot you can check what's going on so um, if we're looking for the unlock status slots batteries right here see that unlocked yes that means your bootloader is unlocked also secure no means your bootloader is unlocked right it's the same basically the same thing um, so right there is your information about it and that is a way to double check that your unlocked bootloader was successful all right so i'm just going to reboot it again let it finish up but that is the process just wanted to show you also how to double check that you did in fact actually unlock the bootloader with uh, a neat little fast boot command of fast boot get var all so we'll let this thing boot but that's it uh stay tuned for the next video and we'll catch you guys in that one root junkie out